Hey everybody, it's your girl, Attorney Brunel Donald Che. Just want to serve up some soul food with the good news uh, from the Bible, which would be uh, we're going to be diving into James chapter 2, verse 26. And it says, For just as the body without the spirit is dead, so also faith without works is dead. Um, this is a scripture that I've heard so many times in my life as a as a Christian. And um, it, it basically goes in tune with the earthly um, staying of a verb. A verb is an action word. Faith and works are action words, okay? It's not just something like you have people like they'll say, oh, Lord, please send me a million dollars. Father, just make it happen. But they're not going to do anything to go toward a million dollars. They're not going to get a job. They're not going to begin to, you know, write down their visions, become entrepreneurs, um, go out and do anything. They're just going to sit in their room and say, oh, you know, God, I know you can do it. You're able to do it. I know you can do it. You know, um, Father, heal me. I'm not going to go to the doctor. I'm not going to take any medication. I'm not going to do anything. Father, I know you're able to heal me. And yes, God can heal people without medication. That is so true. That is a fact. However, he does have doctors he created so that you can go to the doctor and get prescriptions or things that you will need to heal you as well. You know, we also have to use wisdom in our faith. It's just not some, uh, you know, I don't have to do anything. All I have to do is it says faith without works is dead. OK, and let's say it another way. In James 1 and 22, it says, be ye not only hearers of the word, but doers of the word. So basically it's in tune with, with James 1 and 26. You can, you know, hear the word of God, and, you know, at church and be clapping and hallelujah and dancing. Oh, God, I feel it. Oh, yeah. And then go fornicate. Mm -mm. Oh, God, I feel it. Oh, yeah. And then go rob a bank. And then, oh, God, I feel it. Oh, yeah, and go sleep with somebody's husband or wife. No. So we don't just hear the word. We are doers of the word. That means if a married man comes on to you or a married woman comes on to you, you run. You flee. Because we don't just have faith. Okay, hey, I'll have faith in my own desires to be able to, uh, you know, not fall into sin and this and that. No. We have to run away from it. We have to get away from it. We have to put in the work with that faith, okay? Um, we have to get busy doing the work of the Lord. But what we don't want to do is be busy, so busy that we forget to spend time with God. Again, faith without works is dead. You can be saying, oh, I praise the Lord. I love the Lord. He's a good God and not spending any time with him. That's an absolute fallacy and fake and phony and you will lose. The faith is yes, believing in God, but the works is father. You are King of Kings. You are Lord of Lords. You are God of God's father. I thank you for this day for this is the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, I thank you for being a lamp to my feet. I thank you for being a light to my path. I thank you that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Father, I thank you for being Alpha and Omega. I thank you for being the beginning and the end. I thank you for being the everlasting Father. I thank you for being my battle axe. And then some days it's just mercy, Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Mercy. Glory. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Thank you. Lord. Oh, God. Thank you for giving me beauty for my ashes, Father. Thank you for being way out of no way, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And sometimes it's just. you just before him. And you're asking him, Lord. Lord, do it. Lord, do it for me. Oh, God, I don't know what it is, Father, but I just know that you've already done it, Lord. Lord, do it. Do it for me right now. Yes. Sometimes you're just quiet before the Lord. 
just thanking him in your heart. God, thank you. Mm, Lord, you're so good. You're so merciful. Just praising him. Just glorifying him. Just magnifying his name. Just trusting him. So many times my prayers are just crying out. I just sit before the Lord and cry. And I'm talking about ugly cry. I'm not talking about the... <laughs> I mean, whole face. It's not everything. Tears, face, just puffy everything. Faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. That is what the word says in James 1 and 26. How are you lifting up your faith today? What works are you putting forth in the kingdom? Nobody's perfect. Nobody's telling you that you have to go seven days a week to be at the soup kitchen. Nobody says you have to be, you know, doing anything, um, you know, above and beyond your abilities. Me personally, I share scriptures every day um, for the most part, Monday through Friday on Twitter, on TikTok on now or on um well I'm new to TikTok but I'm I'm learning in TikTok. Um but Facebook, Twitter, my Instagram, my YouTube, I've been uploading scriptures and things like that. My gift is encouraging. My gift is um being able to explain things. Um I know my lane. I know what God has given me. I know what he's he's given me to be able to do. And I try to stay in my lane. My lane is not at the soup kitchen every day serving meals. My lane is not paving the pit, knocking on doors or things like that. That's that's not my lane. That's not my strength. But their brothers and sisters, that is their lane. That is their strength. And they're excellent at it. And so how are you putting forth your faith today? What works are you putting forth today? Are you putting your faith and works together? And how are you doing that? And how often are you doing that? I thank you so much for listening to this word today. Let's be faithful. Let's be mindful of um, making sure we put forth our faith. Yes, praise him. Yes, glorify him. Yes, stay in his word. But also, let's put in the work. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today with serving up soul food with the good news. James chapter 2. Verse 26 is where we came out of today. Bye for now.